a digital twin is basically a digital representation of something physical. But what makes it different from any other model is the connection between the digital and the physical. So what happens with a digital twin is it takes data from the physical environment, does something clever with it to help generate insight to facilitate a better decision, which then enables better interventions back in the physical world. So it's that connection between the physical and the digital that really makes a digital twin a twin. Yeah, I think digital twins are really important because of the value that they can offer in the built environment. Um, and I think the root of that value uh, is in enabling better decisions faster and cheaper. That, that's really where it comes from. Uh, and so that's worth investing in. Um, and uh, unlocking the value of better decisions uh, within the built environment would facilitate all sorts of, of benefits, whether that's in the use of the assets or the operation of the assets or the maintenance of the assets or the planning of new assets. Uh, wherever decisions are made, di digital twins can potentially facilitate better decisions uh, and that's worth investing in. So I think a really key role that the government uh, can play and is playing uh, is in facilitating the growth of what effectively is a, is a new market. Uh, and the market can't do that entirely by itself. There are a lot of really good players out there uh, who can provide um, a lot of really useful products and services in the digital twin space. Uh, but effectively, to uh, enable the whole market to thrive, uh, there are some things which are needed at a high level uh, to unlock it. Uh, and so one of the things which we're looking at uh, via the Centre for Digital Built Britain's Digital Framework Task Group is trying to understand you know, what are those, those minimum things which we need at a national level in order to unlock this, this whole potential of connecting digital twins. And we've got some pretty good ideas on, on what those are. Um, it's, it's to do with having um, a national reference data library. Uh, it's about putting in place foundation data model uh, and maybe um, working out what a, um, an integration architecture would look like. But maybe with just those three high-level things, uh, we can see that we can unlock all sorts of value at a lower level, uh, which then um, shouldn't be controlled, uh, it should be facilitated. Uh, and so I think that really the, the key role of government in this uh, is to um, help prevent market failure uh, and to enable this market to flourish uh, and deliver the value that it promises.